anterior nuclear group of the thalamus. The most anterior portion of the thalamus extending to its rostral pole is the anterior nuclear complex. So this nuclear complex consists of three subdivisions that is the anteroventral, anteromedial and the anterodorsal nuclei. So there are three subdivisions in the anterior nucleus of the thalamus. So here we are not going to discuss about individual connections of these three parts but we are just discussing about how many subdivisions are present. The anterior nuclear group is a part of limbic system. It receives large afferent projections from the mammillary body of the hypothalamus by means of mammillothalamic tract. So this mammillothalamic tract carries signals from the mammillary bodies via the anterior thalamus to support spatial memory. Now what is the spatial memory here? Spatial memory is a type of the memory which is responsible for recording the information about one's environment and spatial orientation. For example, you are staying in a particular city for quite long period of time which means you are well familiar with uh, the routes as well as the maps of the city. You know the places very well. That type of memory is called a spatial memory which means this memory is required for that person who already know the city to navigate around to go to the places. But it should be familiar to him which means he must have traveled, experienced, saw the routes before and he will store such kind of a memory in his brain called a spatial memory. So that is the reason spatial memories are summarized as cognitive map of the brain. Right? So the anterior complex after receiving the information from the mammillary bodies, the project principally to the cingulate gyrus on the medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere. So from the mammillary bodies to the anterior nucleus, from the anterior nucleus to the cingulate gyrus. This is the afferent as well as efferent connection of the anterior nuclear group. Now by this what do you think is the function of these nuclei. So these nuclei are thought to play an important role in the modulation of alertness and also involved in learning as well as episodic memory also, not only the spatial one. Now let us discuss what exactly is mean by episodic memory, even though episodic memory is considered to be the part of the limbic system. So episodic memory is a type of memory of autobiographical events. Like you remember about times like past times, you remember about uh, past places, events, people, all the past associated memories like whenever who is this person, what happened at that time, like who, what, when, where. So such kind of questions can be answered by means of episodic memory, right? So which means in simple language we can say that the collection of the past personal experiences that occurred in a particular point of time in the given place or in a given point of time can be remembered very easily. For example, one can remember a party as well as gifts which he or she received during her or his eighth birthday. This is the example of the episodic memory. So this kind of memory allow an individual to figuratively travel back into the time and remember the event which took place at the particular time and space. Right? This is the main function of this anterior thalamic group. So spatial memory as well as episodic memory. Both are the important functions of uh, this entire afferent as well as efferent tracts. This anterior nuclear group also control the instinctive drives in the emotional aspects of behavior as well as in the memory. So this is what we need to know about uh, the anterior nuclear group.